Hello, YouTube. Salivate Metal here, and you are there. This is a live feed. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I thought, you know, I'd take you along with me on this journey. I thought I'd set this camera up and talk to myself. I thought, why not let some people in? We're going to talk about coins. We're going to talk about gold. We're going to talk about silver. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this and that. All kinds of different things. So let's get right to it and see if we can get some viewers to swing in here. We've got some right now. Very good. Nice. By the way, just so you know, now that I've got six viewers in, FYI, you know what I'm saying? By FYI, for your information, for those of you that watch, <clears throat> who are subscribed, if you click on the little bell, I've been remiss to mention this in previous videos, but it will notify you of when I either post a new video or come live. And uh, so hopefully some of you have gotten that notification and will get that notification for future videos and live feeds and such. Very, very nice. Now let me ask you this. Well, first, before I ask you anything, I've got to actually see what you guys are doing or saying on the side because I didn't open up that window, but I am now. Here we go. Silver Jack is here. Silver Wolverine is here. Funk Tad Forcell is here. Silver Gator, JD Adventure. Oh, whoa. JD Adventure is formerly known as Epic RV, a classic YouTuber. Very, very nice. Good to see you, sir. Epic RV is in the house. Under JD Adventure. Very, very nice. Very nice to see you. A pleasant surprise. Colonel Auctioneer, we have a C-172 pilot dude, a Cessna. We are operating here in G-Space, people. We're in G-Space, you know what I mean? That means we can fly anywhere. That's right. No uh, notice to airmen or any of that junk. We can just fly whenever we want to in G-Airspace. Very, very nice. Tricky guy is here. He backed the truck up last night and got some silver on the dip. Ricky, uh, WO1 is here. Collect Everything is here. We got a good good crowd coming in. Hep Kitty is here. Beep bop ba lula. Lula ba beep bop. All right. I can't, I, I know that, but I can't sing it. You know what I'm saying? But very cool to see you all here for sure. I'm sipping on some coffee as we speak. And why do you ask? Well, I need some wake-up juice. It's early in the morning here where I'm at. Actually, I'm kidding. It's the afternoon. <laughs> but, you know, and uh, we're going to have some fun here today. We might even try. You know, it's early. We've got enough viewers in. I think we can go ahead and do this now. Let's see if we can get this thing going here. Mm. I'm going to have to change my voice a little bit for this next thing here. Let me see if I can get it going. Just bear with me, people, because this is going to be, if what I think will happen, some hilarity will ensue, and you will be pleased as punch. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's a politically correct way to say it. It used to be Shawshank Redemption. They said easy peasy Japanesey. So, uh. Let's see here. Did not expect the silver correction. Yep, it's got the um, people been taking. I took advantage too, and I'm trying to hold fast and kind of be fiscally responsible and the like. But um, it just didn't. It didn't happen. You know. I mean, well, I mean, I am being fiscally responsible, so I'm just not buying a whole lot here. Let's see if we can get Kiona Brown on the line here. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. You know what? Let me go back to a place that I know we can uh, we can do this here. Let's see here. Where are we? Let's do. Let's call up. Let's call up Fiona. Let me see here. Where are we? Where are we? Let's call Fora. Let's call Fora Financial. Let's do this now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Got to take out some jazz here. Move this, move that. Copy and paste. Let's do it. Let's see what we got here. Everybody's still with me. We're going to have some fun, folks. Here we go. All right.
calling. For a financial. This call may be monitored and recorded for record keeping, training, and quality assurance purposes. All right, very good. We transfer your call. You're transferring the call here, so let's see if we can get this underway. Very good, very good. Yes, Robert. Okay, come on now. Oh, crap. It hung up on me. This son of a biscuit. Let's try it one more time. We may have to do this from a different uh, thing. For calling for a financial. This call may be monitored and recorded for record keeping, training, and quality assurance purposes. Okay, Fora. Hold while we transfer your call. Ah, come on, John or Edgar. Let's see if John or Edgar answers. Come on, John or Edgar. Predict one of those two will answer. Come on, let's do it. Hello, Taz. Hello, Erman Griad. Good to see you or look at you or, you know, what have you. I wish somebody there would answer the freaking phone already. Thank you for calling for a financial. This is Rochelle. How may I assist you today? Hello, Rochelle. How you doing? Um, I'm calling. I got one of those emails about uh, financial assistance or a loan, and I'm looking to acquire a loan. I figure well, maybe you can help me out here. I need money for the Silver Beach. Sure, I'd be happy to assist. And, um, it does look, look like you did receive an email from us. That's right, um, yes. Just so I can, mm -hmm. Okay, so just so I can locate the file, can you confirm the email address at which you received our email? Yes, it's, um, it's, it's S-A-L-V-I-T-E enterprises at aol.com should be on your file there because i've received several emails from you guys yeah so it's s-a-l-v-i-t-e enterprises at aol.com that's right that's exactly right okay great thank you can i also confirm some basic information about you and your business sure thing oh yeah Great. May I have your first and last name, please? Uh, my name is Sal, but you can call me Salivate for short. And uh, okay, what is your full name? Um, Salivate. And um, and uh, my my last name is is Schwindenhammer. Salivate Schwindenhammer. Okay. Can you spell your first and last name for me? S A L I V A T E. Salivate. Schwindenhammer is S C H W I N D E N H A M M E R. Schwindenhammer. It's Nigerian. Okay. Oh, I see. So that's S A L I V A T E. Last name S C H W I N D E N H A M M E R. Yes, that's that's exactly right. And uh, yeah. Okay. And they have a telephone number for you. Oh yes, yes, yes. It's uh, it's one eight six seven five three zero nine zero three zero. You said eight six seven five three zero nine zero three zero, correct? Right, exactly. Yeah. Okay. What is the name of the company? Salivate Enterprises. Salivate. S A L I V A. T E Enterprises. That's right. Yeah, we're 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 a Nigerian company, right? But we operate out of the United States, and we're not a scam or anything like that. We sell um, RVs. We sell these okay. these kind of RVs. You know, we build these RVs, and they're really epic kind of RVs too. And it's quite an adventure to 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 uh, ride in one of our RVs. They're really nice. Okay, interesting. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you. And how much would you say your business generates in monthly sales? Probably about, probably about uh, twenty-four thousand dollars a month. Twenty-four. Excuse me, I'm sipping you on said some. Twenty-four thousand. Yes, twenty-four thousand dollars. That that's correct. Yes. 
thank you for providing this information. Sure thing. All of our funding specialists are busy, but I will have uh, one of them reach out to you within the next business day. Oh, they won't be able to reach. I'm, I'm actually in a different okay. location. They can't reach me. Um, I'm 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 in a different location. I can't physically touch anybody right now. I'm we're talking via voice IP here. I can't touch anybody. You know what I mean? Yes. So we can't reach 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 to touch anybody, but but that he can email me, or you can, or yeah. you know, or what have you. Yes, of course, by phone or. Do you want to know what the money is for? Do you want to know what I want? Aren't you going to ask me how much I need and what the money is going to be for? Well, the funding specialist will be the one handling that aspect, not me. Well, now you're so pretty special ask. there, Rochelle. You're you're pretty special, I would say. <laughs> Wouldn't you? you? I mean, uh, we're all human beings here, right? I mean, we we have the yes, ability to think are. and reason, Absolutely. and yes, exactly, that's right, yeah. And uh, so, yeah. So, anyways, so yeah. So that's yeah. that's kind of where I was heading towards this. And so, if if, if what I'm going to do is I want to try to buy ten platinum coins. See, platinum is low right now, and for my employees, I want to give them each uh, a coin. I have more than 10 employees, oh. by the way, but this money okay. is going to be going as a gift for my top producers. And, uh, and if you give me that money, um, you know, I'm going to be able to please a lot of my employees. Okay, uh, you know what I mean? Yes, I do. Okay, so I have already followed the information, so the funding specialist will um, follow up with you is there anything else i can help you with at this time well i was kind of hoping to get the loan closed today if possible before business and uh, so that's kind of why i was thinking maybe you were with the funding specialist here so that's kind of where i was heading with this that way we can I do it understand. you know what i mean if you can just transfer me over let me see how much time i got left here i've got eight minutes left if you can just transfer me to somebody that would be that would be sweet that would be sweet for the Swindon hammer, you know what I mean? I understand. I would have been happy to transfer you if somebody was available. It is an O, by the way. Somebody asked if it was an O. Stock jockey asked if this was an O, and it is an O. He was asking about this 85 uh, uh, Morgan dollar, which actually I'm not supposed to be showing yet because I'm going to do a separate video on that. Let's show this here. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on YouTube okay. right now. Hey, what's your favorite kind of music? Oh, you, what kind, what's your favorite kind of music? Not, I don't really have a preference. Oh, you gotta have something you like there. There's gotta be some kind of music you like. I'm sure you probably like death metal or, or gangster rap, right? One of those two. Well, not really into those, no, I'm not. <laughs> How about, have you ever heard of uh, Britney Spears? Yes, absolutely. I have heard of her. Yeah, she's pretty cool. There's a guy that does a heavy metal version of one of her songs, and it's pretty cool. Really? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Right, it's called Frog Leap Studios. Wanna... Yeah, it's it's kind of cool. How about any Motown? You like any Motown? Silver Awesome 13 likes some Motown stuff. Not really, no. <laughs> How about... <laughs> What's that? No, I was just about to say it was a real... Pleasure speaking to you. Oh, I'm, cool. Hey. Well, I've already forwarded the information. And yeah. The information no, that's cool. That's cool. And uh, and what's my name again? Just to, just so we have that straight, my name? It's um, Salivati is the first name. Yep. And Schwindenhammer is the last name. Yes, you got it. Schwindenhammer. Isn't it just, doesn't that just roll off the tongue like it's a... Like it's a, a a cuisine, like a like a nice fine dish, you know. Yeah. Schwindenhammer, yeah. Schwindenhammer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly. Uh, and you're Rochelle, right? That is correct. That's a very nice name. That's very cool. I Thank think you. I think you should listen to some more heavy metal, though. I think that'd be cool. And also collect some silver and gold. That's always fun because that could protect you from a collapse. An economic collapse. Not that okay. no, no, I'm not saying it's going to be coming. I'm not saying that we're going to. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying just to kind of you know safeguard your wealth and preserve your wealth and the like and and all that good stuff. 
Okay, I understand. Well, thank you so much for that. Well, thank well, you again for calling. Well, it's been a you pleasure. The rest of your day. Thank you very much, ma'am. I hope you do as well. <laughs> All right, you take it thank squeezy. You so much. All right, take care. Bye bye. Yes, you too. Bye now. Bye bye. All right, you know what? I'm in a Carl Childers mood here. Let's see here. Noel Hargrave. Coffee makes me a mite nervous when I drink it. Let's see here. All right. How many of you ever heard of Sling Blade? Let's see. How many people here have heard? Depending on how many people I have, I might do one with Carl. I got to see. Wait for, um, yeah. Waiting for the, of course, the extra, the problem is, is the, uh, I got another number. Hmm. Thomas, we'll call Thomas. We're gonna call Thomas right now. French right there we go, stacking AG knows who he is. I like the way you talk to, mm-hmm. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna assume you all know who Carl Childers is. Char Carl Childers is. Here we go. Here we go. I won't be able to see your uh, comments here. While I'm doing this, I won't be able to see your comments. Come on, answer the freaking phone. You people are slow over there. Record your message at the tone. Press any key or stop talking to end the recording. I'm your oldest boy, name of Carl. That grass out there in the yard, it's rolled up quite a bit. I want to come back and stay in here. I killed my mother and an old boy named Jesse Dixon. Where I could have mustard and biscuits three or four times a week. Mm -hmm. They turned me loose from the nervous hospital. Did I as well? Mm -hmm. I was kind of wanting something other to eat. Reckon you can make me some biscuits. Mustard's good on them to me. Or I could have mustard and biscuits three or four times a week. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love you, boy. Well, I like the way you talk. I reckon I'm going to have to get used to looking at pretty people. But I don't reckon there's no need for it. All you gonna do is sit there in that chair. I want to be baptized. All right, that's it. Um, that's all that. Uh, very good. Okay. We left him a message. I hope he got the message. Very good. All right. Yeah, Jesse Dixon was a player on this America, that's for sure. No, David Argento, that was Carl Childers. Mm, mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. I got some of that potted meat and soda crackers left over if you want some. Anybody want some soda crackers? All right. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can call one more person here just for gits and shiggles. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll talk about precious metals. Imagine that. Let's see here. Okay. Let's call... Let's call Raphael. Let's give Raphael a call. Come on. I reckon that'll be some of them French fried taters. Mm -hmm. Call me 11. I like me some silver stacking. Mm -hmm. I had to get me a Queen's Beast or two with some mustard on them. Mm. I'm sure CCT is going to know exactly who that is. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm going to do some fancy work here to get this thing to work here.
Here we go. Jesse. I mean, Raphael. We're calling Raphael right now. Mm. Stop ringing. How many people did we call? Two or three? Hello? Don't make me come over there. Hey, Tomoko's Enterprise. Dean, I'm always breaking you up. As if you're a divisible bar or something. I got to try them again. I don't think it's going to work this time, but let's see here. It only rings once. That's strange. I wonder if it's a fax. No, that's a real number. That's his number. I'll wait a little bit. Hello, Stephen Heath. We got a couple more viewers swinging here. We're just having a little fun with the um, Joshua Rose is here. The kitty is right over here on the chair. I can't really move the thing right now. Silver Awesome 13 is in is, is here as well. Good to see you, sir. We're waiting on Raphael to hang up the or to answer the phone, but then he can hang up. This is strange the way he does his thing. Raphael is a real weirdo, by the way. Come on, Raphael. Answer the freaking phone, man. Oh, eye candy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about the okay, eye candy. Let's see. Okay. Um oh shoot. I don't have any candy with eyes on it. What can else can I show? Um dang. Uh look at that. Look at that while I'm calling. I don't even know if it's centered. Okay, that ended. Let's try it one more time. We're gonna call him one more time. Leon's girlfriend is pleased. Oh, crap. All right. I'm going to try one other way to do this here. Hold on. Is that, an, is that some good eye candy, uh, Silver Hustlin' 13? I should call Frank P. Chicken and Biscuit might go to the bank and get a roll of, of new pennies. Yeah. These are cool new pennies. Where is I Am Gogi? That's a good question, Kalonic Stacker. Colonic stacker, colonial stacker. One dial. Boom. Boom at you. Here we go. Come on now. Come on, Raphael. Thank you for calling for a financial. Yes. This call yes. may be monitored and recorded yes. for training and quality assurance purposes. Yes. Please gonna... hold. Okay. Come on. Happy Cinco de Mayo, LLS, Lady Liberty Stacker. Calling Raphael. Come on, Raphael. Raphael. It's going to go to voicemail. Hey, this is Raphael Ramirez. I'm not available at the Dang moment. It. If you could give me a call it's back. It's going to be full. 212-947-0100, extension 514. Shoot. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Crap. What to return to the main menu, press star. Or to reach an operator, press zero. Or leave your message. Reaching an operator. If you all remember that number, uh, put it in the comments, that number. Yes, yeah, stack on AG47. I'll call the rest of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Y'all remember that number he said? Hey, this is Raphael oh. Ramirez. I'm not available Hold at on. the moment. If you could give me a call back at 212-947-0100, extension 514. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 514. Can you return to the main menu, press star. Or to reach an operator, press zero. Thank you for calling for a financial. This call may be monitored okay. and recorded for training and quality assurance purposes. All right. Please hold. Okay, we're going to try somebody else. 
Yeah, Stephanie, 5309. Yeah. That's Jenny's number. That's Jenny's number. We're not trying to call Jenny. Got Chowabunga, Stephen Heath says. Chuck Delano. Watch me get Ro Ro Rochelle again. Hey, this is Raphael Ramirez. Yeah, I'm not crap. available at the moment. If crap. you could give me a call back at 212-947-0100. All right, let's try this. Let's try it. What was that extension number again? 514. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for calling for a financial. This call may be monitored and recorded okay. for record keeping, oh, training, sure. and Yeah, we're going to keep purposes. records, all right. Our standard business hours are Monday through Friday, yeah. 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, no wonder. It's if after. you know your party's three-digit extension, oh. you may dial it at any time. Okay, here we go. We're going to leave him a voicemail. We're going to have some fun. And check this out. When I leave this voicemail, if it does it, you're going to have fun with this. Hey, see ya, Mr. Monkey Swag. Thanks for stopping by, my friend. Stop jacking in some vinyl records. We're gonna, this will be the last call we make, and then we'll- Hey, this is Raphael Ramirez. I'm not available at the moment. If you could give me a call back at 212- We just did that, Raphael. 0100, extension 514. We just did that. As as I can. To we return to the main menu, press star. Please leave your message after the tone. All right, here we go. When finished, hang up or It'll press be full. the key for this more This mailbox options. will be full. I'm Watch. Sorry, it's but the user's mailbox yeah, told you. is full and cannot accept any more messages. I hope I hit zero in time. We're going to try to stay on this call. Crap. Let's try one more time. Nope. Well, we're not going to get anybody there. So that's a good. All right, we're done. We're done. Very good. Okay, press star. I tried pressing star. It goes, it just loops right back around again. Last call. That's right, last call. Stark Wolf Silver's here. Hello, what's happening? Now I can get back to you guys and pay attention to you guys for once. All right, here we are. Is this enough? I, I think I've, I, there's not enough eye candy to keep Silver hustling around. Anthony G, how's it going, man? There's a glitch in the Matrix, that's for sure. Exactly right. Yeah. So um, if you all are picking up anything from these dips, it's been a nice some nice dips here lately in the precious metals. <clears throat> and I think we're probably going to see it go maybe through June. Uh, we'll see what happens when the Fed meets again in June. I think they will probably um, uh, raise the rates then, and then we'll see the prices dip a little bit more before going up. Um, but I think there's a lot of different events that could take place to um, affect the precious metal prices, and it may be unexpected. It may not be anything that Kim Jong-un does, you know, with the whole thing about um, – him saying that he's been poisoned by Brett Michaels. That's his latest charge against the United States. He says that Brett Michaels has poisoned him. So who knows? Who knows? I know what you mean, Domo. I have not really much money left for dips either. I did make a small purchase today um, on the dips. Uh, and uh, yeah, so but that's it. Good tip says I should prank call Leon. Oh, hey, hey Mon Exacon, see what kind of silver they want to get you to buy. Ooh, hey, that's a good idea, stock jockey. Um, but you know, that's the thing. I don't really call legitimate organizations. Um, believe it or not, I try not to. Um, yes, I do, Colonic Stacker. Folders Black Silk. You can see, of course, this has got some cream in it but i do like the black silk very good memory good king's full 75 let's see some gold okay all right gold all right very good i wasn't quick enough uh for <clears throat> silver hustle 13 with the eye candy so he's out of here but david argento is still here i'm glad of that 
So let's find a little bit of gold to show. Just for gets and shiggles. Um, MCM 10 ounce Buffalo Bar, 169.90 on eBay. Ooh, that's pretty good. Silver Mama, Mana, Silver Mana, not Silver Mama, I'm sorry. Said that. Very cool. Nice. I will show some more eye candy, but I think somebody wanted to see some gold. Um, let's see here. Uh, David Argento was prepared for a dip last time. For He was unprepared for the $13 dip last time. And I understand that. Yeah, it's when they, these dips come and it's like, oh man, you're out of money. You're, you've, you're all out of dry powder. So it's nice to be able to uh, to get a little bit of the, of that money, and he's glad that I'm glad. So I'm glad that his gladness is re re uh, you know made its way back to being glad. Donald in New Mexico is here. Hello, Donald. Good to see you, sir. Oh yeah, very nice to have you in the house. Um, and actually, I'm. This is not a house. This is a storage unit. I'm talking to you from here now. Thank you, and Nicholas. Yeah, just a little tenth ounce proof thing. Um, poured silver. Yes, I do have some poured silver. Not a whole lot of it, you know. To, you know, and the thing is, is um, I did this pouring videos basically just for fun. But I'm not. I mean, some of it's pretty cool. But I'm really not as into it as many others are. You don't see me really buy a whole lot of it. So the stuff that I do get, I usually have just experimented and poured myself. This is the first piece that I bought. This is what made me a silver pole poured bullionaire. This is th over three ounces and uh, it's not stamped at all. It's just my first self-poured piece. Self-poured bullionaire. Here's a little button I did. Yes, we need Rex Tillerson as a, on a U.S. coin. That's right, Colonic Stacker. He's doing a pretty good job, I must say. Thank you, Metal Money. Yeah, this proof is pretty cool, so we'll do a little bit of both. We'll show a little bit of uh, Poured silver and gold here so that we have a, a nice compromised position there. Very nice. Donald is late again, but better late than never, so it's good to see you. Okay, uh, Silver Gator, thank you very much for coming by. Enjoy your dinner. Hope you have a great weekend. All right. Do we need Angela Merkel on a U.S. coin? I don't know. She's kind of, a, you know... I used to like her more, but she's, you know, become more of a, she's what's keeping the EU together, I think. And, um, you know, yeah, because Germany owns us. Yeah, very good. A.G. Randall is here. Uh, let's see here. Tomoko's Enterprises, always liking the F word, one of the best out there. Hmm. Financial or future or fun or... Fantabulous. Now it's King's Ransom gold and silver. Oh, you want to see another cool gold coin? This is 90% gold. I don't know that they're available anymore, but this is from uh, Pirate Booty Bullion. That thing is a pretty cool looking piece. 90% gold, that is. Replica. Silver Jack says, hey, if you're going to melt it, why not just buy a silver shot? That's right. You know what? And the thing is, is here's the thing about silver shot. A lot of times you can just buy generic rounds uh, for less than silver shot. Hello, uh, Savvy Metals. Good to see you. Silver Man of Fortitude. Yeah, it's actually Fortitude. That's Fortitude with an F. Oh, for, oh yeah, Forti yeah, Fortitude. It's a... Uh, F U R. It's a play on words. The salty, cuddly is furry, hence a multitude of furtitude. There you go. Gold kangaroos. My gold kangaroos are not nearby right now. I apologize for that. They are not handy at the moment, or else I would show those because those are lovely coins, I must say. But, yeah. But we have this to look at. We got all this stuff to look at here. 
I hope you all didn't hear that. If you did, I could edit it out, but it's it's already out there, so it's going to stay out there. You know what I'm saying? I can't take it back now, which means I can never run for Congress because I just belched in front of the live audience. Silverfish VT, hello. He's always wanted to see a three wise monkeys around. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. With Greenspan, Bernanke, and Yellen as the monkeys. Yeah, that would be a really good one. Um, that sounds like a Chris Duane project. Yes, very good. Belange P has posted a great video recently. You all should check out. And it's definitely good to see Silverfish here. Now we need uh, Big Stack McGee to come in. We need the Silver Futurist to come in. And yeah, Donald of New Mexico has got a great question. Anyone else buying Libertads yet? Well, and that's the thing. The Libertads are, you know, they, um, they don't really announce them when they're going to be released each year. So I've not seen any 2017 Libertads. I think they waited a while to release some of the previous years too. There's never really a specific uh, announcement date or release date. Usually with the Maples and the Eagles, they release them at the beginning of the year. But uh, yeah, but nothing on the, on the Libertads. It's a great question though, for sure. But has anybody else seen them? Hey, Robert, you enjoy the madness? Got to go to dinner? Well, have fun. Enjoy your dinner. I just ate supper, but you're the second person that talked about food and dinner, and it's making me hungry. Don't do that. I'm going to get fat. <clears throat> um, Nicholas asked a great question. How long have I been interested in silver? Well, um, since I got my very first bar, um, which was a J.M. Matthew bar, and I think I've shown it before, but that was back in when I was a young tyke, when I say young, probably um, 13, 12 years old. Um, and uh, I've been interested in it ever since. It's just a great metal, very reflective, <clears throat> knowing that it was in our uh, old coins before 1965 here in the United States. Beautiful. Love the look of silver. And it's, you know, and the thing about silver is it's cheap compared to gold. But um, there's a lot of good reasons to get gold too, one of which is storage. I mean, this, you look at this, this gold coin right here is, you know, it's, it's very small and it's worth a whole lot more than this or these or all three of these things combined, it's worth more than that. So you can put a lot of video or a lot of, um, of wealth in a small package and that's really so yeah uh very good so let's see what else are people talking about here let's see okay oh yeah tomoko is uh, gonna be um uh, having some ki king crabs and some beef and prawns I didn't know he was a District 9 fan and liked to eat aliens, but uh, enjoy that, Dean. And uh, he'll be coming back. People keep talking about food. Somebody talk about gold so they don't get so hungry. Well, I guess we're always hungry for gold. I mean, look at Belange P's um, profile picture there. Smog is guarding the gold. I guess Smog is not eating the gold, but Kalonic Stacker says, is the cat on the Fortitude Round SK2? Well, it does kind of look like SK2. I'll leave that as a mystery. I'm not sure. It's representative of SK2. But, you know, here's the, here's the very, I'm going to tell you all a little secret. So shh, it's just you and me listening right now. But, you know, I have to think about the future, right? Well, cats don't live forever. And there's a chance, there's a chance I might be here longer than the kitties are alive. And I might get another cat. So these re can be representative of the next soft teak and cuddly kitty that comes along. Hate to think that way, but you, you know, each cat is different and individualistic. But you never know. Belange P says, nothing like a massive bailout. It stimulates the economy and keeps the users in the green. Yes, that's for sure. 
bailouts and a here's what happens with bailouts when you have a massive bailout well sooner or later that Audi is going to turn into an innie and we're going to be having some bail-ins if we're not careful um David Argento Sal is a legend if only started when Sal did you know but here's the thing David I got that one silver bar but I didn't really do much collecting since then I got you know I don't have I don't have silver slacker um type stack you know um and my budget didn't requ require you know didn't uh allow me to purchase a whole lot all my stuff's been accumulated in very small little portions you know from here and there and there and here and uh, it just kind of stacks up you know builds up over time uh but i've always enjoyed it and just haven't been able to buy as much so it's good to know and see the thing is here's another benefit of having started early you can see the trends and where silver has moved and gold too over the years and it's really quite fascinating to see how it's really shot up since the um since the mid 2000s because essentially before then it stayed relatively level Modern Modern Sierra says hello. I lost you. Where are you? The comments are coming in fast. So I'm missing some stuff. Um, oh, thank you. The Daily Rant. The wife loves the cats and the videos. Thank you very much. I will keep them coming there because I know they're enjoyed by so many, and I appreciate that so much. Uh, yes, pension funds, PR debt. Held by pension funds in the U.S. That's exactly right. <clears throat> yeah, Chuck, I did too. I thought gold was expensive at three hundred dollars. Uh, that means their taxes will go up. Belange P. You know, and that's the thing. Not necessarily, Dumbo. <clears throat> Our taxes. You know, that's just it. The um, um, if they can print money like it's going out of style. That acts as a tax cut because when it dilutes the economy um, or we overflow with dollars, they become worth less, which means we're taxed essentially. That's another way of taxation without actually, quote, raising your taxes by um, legislative um, ordinance or what have you. Erman Griod says, good day from the future. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. Yes, it's the next day over where he's at. I think you're in, let me think here. You're in Germany, right? I think Erman, he may already be gone. Let's see here. Uh, Shannon Hill is asking, is the cat flipping the finger? Um, oh, no, there's no finger on this kitty. Just whiskers, and on the back side, there's a shield. I don't see a finger here, though. Yes, exactly the right, Silverfish. Crush everyone's spending power. That's right. Yes, they raise it by stealth, Demo. That's right. And CCT is, everyone give CCT a hand. Well, and every all my European friends, give them all a hand. I want you to clap individually for staying up late for this. You guys are the bomb diggity. That's what we say. That's NASCAR talk for you guys are awesome. Yes, uh, Belange P, that's right. Inflation, the tax that for some reason doesn't piss off the citizenry, and it should, because people are ignorant about what goes on um, in the Federal Reserve and with the stimulus and all of these things. It's insane in the membrane. Can't, uh, can't get my borax until tomorrow morning, so chomping at the bit to season the crucible savvy metals. So savvy metals are doing some pouring as well. Um, and Silverfish is going to bo boil some dinner in honor of CCT. Very nice. Hey, look at all the clapping going on here. You guys are just great. Look at that. Yeah, 72 viewers. Thank you all for swinging by here. Very nice. I'm uh, honored and humbled for sure. P Brain is staying up early, which means he must be West Coast like David Argento. Hello, Ikeo Net. My marketing is doing well. No, this is just me just chilling like Bob Dylan. 
and just a lucky night, I guess. People are bored. It's a Friday night. They've got they've well, they're not. Hopefully, they're not too bored here. But you know, we'll see. It's never good to insult your audience, is it, Ikea? That's marketing 101. Don't insult your audience. And uh, but hey, let's look. Let's look at this uh, lion. It's a nice bar here. And uh, oh, hey, I got a question for you guys. I'm gonna have a question. Turn gold. Oh yeah, okay. Turn gold. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here we go, Shannon. Here we go, Shannon. It's over. There it is. All right. On the other side. Yeah, Scottsdale. Yeah, Scottsdale. Oh, speaking of Scottsdale, <clears throat> I got some more eye candy for Silver Hustling, but he's not here. So where did I heck did I put that thing? Crap. You all remember this poured silver bar. Wait a minute. And that's only there until I can find this other thing. I don't know what the heck I did with that thing. Crap. What did I do with it? Where is it? City, depressing city life. Yeah, but you got some cool scenery there, David. If y'all haven't <clears throat> checked out David Argento's channel, you should check it out because he does some cool driving with his um, Hemi, with his vehicle. It's sweet. Some nice scenery, and he can make that thing sing. It's blurring up here. I can focus. I don't think it's going to focus. <clears throat> Chuck Delano, I know the bar you're talking about, the 10-ounce bar with the Twin Towers. I've seen that one, yeah. All right, here's what I wanted to show you guys. Look at that. You talk about the thickness. That thing is, this is the water buffalo. I can't get those fingerprints off of it without scratching it all up, you know what I mean? David Jimmy Johnson Argento, Anthony G says. That's right, exactly. But there that is. <clears throat> Silver Wolverine wants that salivate poor bar. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> this was actually gifted to me by the our very own Baggins. And uh, this is probably one I'll keep because of that. Nice guy. Super cool. I can do that and it'll be focused. Let's see here. Okay, all right. I fixed the audio problem. Ooh, no way. Go, um... David Argento fixed the audio problem with a GoPro. Very cool. Hello, 11 Robert 11. Who? Speaking of 11 Robert 11, I just so happen to have a silver kitty. 11 Robert 11 knows the deal. He knows the deal. He knows it. Here it is. Wait. I clear it out. The original silver kitty from 11 Robert 11. There it is. I would say it's in the flesh, but it's actually in the silver and the metal. That's the Metal Kitty right there. That make a good YouTube username, the Metal Kitty. Yes, Dumbo, Water Buffalo. There, I posted a video about it. And, uh, yeah. Erman Griod says that uh, CCT needs to destroy something. Yeah, he does. It's been a while. Rafaelito Ortez, they call me the Morgan Man. Very good. Ortiz, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, the Morgans are cool. I'm going to do a video about this Morgan dollar later, but not now. Let's see here. What else? Um, needs a better angle. Yeah, okay, yeah, sorry about that, Alan. Good, good, good idea. Better angle. Here we go. Just got to get it to focus now. One of these days. Yeah, uh, David Argento. They did. They took the annotations out now because they're they're not compatible with mobile devices. So that's why they took the. Uh, there it is. <clears throat> okay, P Brain's asking a great question. Will Sonic Cleaner remove the fingerprints without scratching the round? Possibly. I just don't have one of those. 
Uh, this was a gift, Rafaelito. So I'm probably going to keep it, but I do appreciate it. It was from 11 Robert 11. Chuck Delano's got an air show at his house. Jets are flying in loud. <clears throat> I wonder what kind of jets are, are they? Are they F-18s, F-14 Tomcats, F-22s, YF-35s? Silver Monopoly. Yeah, Silver Monopoly would be pretty cool. Those little things like a little um, wheelbarrow and um, a thimble, a silver thimble. Tricky Guy asks a great question. Is it legal to melt... Uh, tend uh, to melt legal tender silver coins. I think it is because that stuff's not in circulation. I think you can really melt anything as long as you don't try to sell it. Um, is uh, 11 Robert 11 still pouring the kitties? I don't know. If he's here, you can ask him. And he may... Um, A.G. Randall, no, I've got a microfiber cloth that I tried. <clears throat> on that, but it, it I was very, very light. I didn't want to scratch it, so I didn't really. Yeah, not if you don't tell anybody. So I'm going to, uh, so if I do melt some constitutional silver or silver coins, I'm not going to tell you guys about it or anybody, especially not the government. Yeah, but Lynch P, you can melt silver eagles, but not Federal Reserve notes. Those are unmeltable. But you can burn them. Savvy Meadows should be downstairs making mold frames instead of watching Sal, but I can't bring myself to watch uh, to stop watching. We're going to keep Savvy Meadows here as long as possible. That's right. That's our mission in life here. And what ways can we entertain Savvy Meadows? How can I be savvy with my medals? Let me think here. Is there a savvy way for me to be savvy? Um, ooh, here's a savvy way to look at that. Copper with a kitty hair on it. I'll take that kitty hair off. This is a 100 gram copper bar. That thing is ugly as sin, isn't it? And that's, a, that's some ugly sin. That's some ugly copper right there. Now you wanna see the, an uglier piece of copper? This is gonna keep savvy medals around. Check this out. This thing literally looks like a piece of crap, doesn't it? This should probably get, well, wait a second. Since I showed the copper, I've lost about 12 viewers. So this is my way to get rid of everybody. It just show a bunch of crap. And copper crap, too. I mean, I can literally lick this and not get uh, any, any um, problems, but it does look kind of crappy. Let's see here. Canada took the penny out. That's right. They did that in um, 2012. F-16 Thunderbirds. Very good, Chuck. Rafaelito likes all metals. I've got some tin, too. I've got some poor tin bars. CCT says that I took a dump on his silver. And you know what? This copper... Here, smell that. You smell that? Smell it. Put your nose up to the can to the screen and smell this. What you're smelling there is not actually the copper. Copper has no odor whatsoever. What you are smelling in this piece of crap um, copper uh, nugget here is my fingerprints and my oils off my fingers. That's what you're smelling. You're not smelling anything else. All right, I'm gonna put that aside now because I want to get a couple more viewers. Yeah, smell the glove, Lane B. That's right. If you want intellectual um, stimuli, this is not the place to be. You want to go to Blanche P's channel. He's the one that's got the intellectual stimuli. I just have uh, ins insanity here. And thank goodness that Silverfish didn't fall for the smell this test because then that means I smack him in the head. <laughs> and that's what I was wanting to do with you guys, but none of you fell for it. So, yeah, and as Donald in New Mexico says, whoever smelt it, dealt it. And, yes, there should be a Silverfish VT silver bar. That would be pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Um, James Schwab has had to put uh, their dog down today, and I'm sorry about that. So uh, rest in peace to Gunner. I'm very sorry, James. 
definitely. Um, yeah. It's always sad to, to lose a pet. And, you know, the thing is, is, you know, my two kitties, I had another kitty that I lost a while ago uh, who was born under my bed, literally, along with some other kitties and was the only orange cat. Maybe one day I'll do a video about it if anybody's interested. But, uh, yeah, let's see here. Oh, um, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, oh, wow. Belange P's cat died in the basement took them a week and a half to find her wow yeah putting a do dogs are special because um they have such personality you know <clears throat> and so when you lose your best friend um that's said animal dogs are man's best friend that you've had for 12 some odd years it's tough i had a friend lose a dog just recently <clears throat> who um Definitely very, very tough. Hello, Gegs1. Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. And um, Good Tips lost a dog a month ago, 15 years old. Wow, that's a long life for sure. Rafaelito Ortiz tends to stick to graded coins. Uh Yeah, tricky guy. <clears throat> I have a couple that I keep at home, but not a whole lot. And it's not that much, believe you me. So I'm missing some of your comments here, so I apologize. Um, Nicholas Zauna says, our cat has kittens, a litter of five, would send you one by living in Australia. And I don't think it will survive in the mail. I don't think so either. But thanks for the offer. Just bought two maples for 16 a piece. That's a good deal. Very good. <clears throat> so Belange P found the dead cat in a workbench drawer. Wow. I wonder how the cat got in there and was it stuck? Boy, that would be awful. That would be awful. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Is the kitty stamped? So oh yes, it is stamped. Nine nine nine. It's kind of hard to see. Those are three nines there. Okay, Savvy Metals, thank you. Appreciate you stopping by, my friend. Very good, A. G. Randall. One thing about cats, they own you. Yes, I'm glad I have an owner. <clears throat> Sun found it, partially liquefied. Wow, a liquefied dead kitty in a workbench. Uh, going to buy an RCM 100 ounce four nines bar from Atmex on Monday. Had it in my sights for weeks and it kept dropping until today. Wow. Very good. That's a great price here. That's a very good, that's a good price. Um, let's see here. At 1640, I think you're doing good. Very good. All right. Nice. Let's see here. <clears throat> Cat extract. That's right. You can bottle that up. And uh, yeah, CCT's eating a late dinner. So he doesn't want to hear about liquefied rotting kitty corpses. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It crawled up one of the drawers from behind. The basement sure did stink. We didn't think to look for her in the drawer. So if it crawled up into the drawer, I wonder why the kitty didn't crawl out. Well, it could be that perhaps. Sometimes cats do this. They go away to die. They don't want to be around anybody. They just go away to die. And maybe the kitty knew, possibly. How old was the kitty, I wonder? Pick up 1990 CC graded 65350. You mean 1890 Carson City? 1990, I don't think they made Morgan's back then, if you're a Morgan guy, Rafaelito Ortiz. I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let me see if I can get it exactly right. It's Rafaelito Ortiz. Ortiz. Just one roll off the R in the middle of a sentence, but Raf Rafaelito is with a double roll because whenever you start a word, unless it's two R's, you don't roll them in the middle, like, like ferrocarril or Roberto, 
See what I'm saying? Ah, the kitty was a Democrat. That solves it. So it happened recently, and uh, the kitty was upset that Hillary didn't win. So when Trump won, the kitty became a snowflake and went into the bench. Son of a bench. 1890 CC. Very good. All right. Nice. Chuck Delano knows, knows Mike Ortiz. Now I'm really, I'm, I'm keeping up with all the comments now. I can see them all swinging by here, which is nice. <clears throat> I see every single one of them. Don't type too fast, though. Oh, Boogeyman has got a Maine Coon and a Salcutta tor Tortoise. Salcutta Tortoise. Nice. I don't have any, any turtles um, except for this one. Wait a minute. If, I can, if I'm quick enough, I can do this. This is the only tortoise I got right here. Let me show you. You know, and I call it a turtle <laughs> for short. P Brain's got no pets now. CCT has goldfish and silverfish. Nice. I never knew you had silverfish as a pet. No wonder why he's not making his videos because you've got him entrapped in the across the pond. Colonic Stacker's got a marine lapend privied turretoidus. Donald New Mexico has a pet rock. Very hard to take care of those. <laughs> Belange P suspects polonium poisoning by Putin for the kitty. We knew the Russians were involved. It was probably polonium poison like they did with the president of Ukraine. <clears throat> All right, stackers, YouTube, type in silver con man so you don't get ripped off crooks out there. Yes, thank you, Rick uh, Blix. We will certainly make sure we don't get conned. We will be. I posted a video about that. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, Russia killed the cat. Very good. Statue of Liberty, two ounces. They're very nice. I bought five Statue of Liberty, two ounces. Yes. Oh, yeah, you're talking about the Landmark series. Yeah, those are really cool. I like those, too. Ooh, Anthony G. <clears throat> Eats... Um, some cheesy goldfish, Pepperidge Farm. I know the exact ones he's talking about there. Second AG forty-seven, or used to have a horse until it drowned when you, when you're playing water polo. <laughs> wow, yeah. Did the kitty glow in the dark? Yeah, good question. Catastrophe, catastrophe. Nicholas says, nice plan words there. Silver gold bug, Flemish giant rabbit, barn cat. Rottweiler Shepherd Mix and a mess of fruit cocktail fish. Wow. Silver Jack, watch Looper to see a movie stack. I saw that. It is a cool film with Bruce Willis. Great movie for sure. You'll see a nice stack in there. CCT bought platinum. Nice, CCT. Good time to buy it for sure. Let's see where platinum is now. 919. Nice. Um French fried potatoes. I like them French fried potatoes. I can show you some. You know what I mean? So that's right. Very good. Whenever you eat goldfish or cheese, make sure you put on gloves before caressing your silver. That's for sure. Cat scratch fever, Donald says. Oh, yeah, love me some Ted Nugent. Half dollar says hello to CCT, but he didn't say hi to anybody else. Only CCT. I am upset. Let me ask you one question, half dollar. Just who are you? <clears throat> That's one simple question. I want to know who you are. Just who are you? They turned me loose in the nervous hospital, and I was well. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ania. Watching the Oaks Derby. Hello. Half dollar is a troll. Well, you know what? Let me just let me just answer that here. Hold on.
Just give me a moment here. Let's see here. Hello, Christopher Sanchez. Now he's off to find some food. Everybody's talking about food. That's crazy. Pull out my silver. Here's some silver. Here, here is some silver. Take a look at that. Look at it. Just look at it. Sometimes that's all you can do is just look at it. Bye 39 dd Good to see you. Hello. It's hot here in my sauna. CCT's got a sauna. Oh, well, let's see here. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. We are the saviors. Well, hello there. Yeah. Tour the vault. I actually don't have a vault. It's not around here anywhere, but you know, but it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it is. Easy, peasy, living squeezy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I do not appreciate you killing my men. <laughs> Just for the record there. Oh, Kathy's uploading a video right now. An inspiration for the Zabuck Slay Dollar. Ooh, it's going to be interesting one for sure. Very nice. Yes, Dumbo, this is clips from... Um, uh, Let's get started. All right, listen. This is clips from uh, Negan, Walking Dead. That's the question of the day. I was hoping that... Uh, I was hoping that Haffy would get the hint... But uh, anyways, I guess not. Let's see here. Are you okay down there, your penis? <laughs> Ignore that last part. I didn't know I was going to say that. All right. <clears throat> Silver. Okay, here we go. All right. Enough playing around. Back to it. I'm starting to get more viewers now, so I've got to be serious. got to pretend like I know what I'm doing. Okay. Um, all right. So Silver Mana. Ask what my personal silver to gold ratio is. Well, it's a good question, and it's probably pretty close to the actual silver to gold ratio, to be honest with you. Uh, not that I've counted, but I would say it's probably somewhere between 75 to 85 to 1 is my guess. And I'm trying to narrow it down, but it's not working very well because I just bought a 10 ounce. Um, uh, Queen's Beast coin, and I just and the other day I just uploaded a video of a quarter ounce. Well, that's not going to help my ratio, is it? It's going to be, you know, being kind of crazy. CCT is hey, thank you for hanging in there with me, my friend. I very much appreciate it. Hope you sleep soundly like a baby, but I know you're going to wake up intelligent. But enjoy yourself. Thank you very much, sir for coming by and for ever, all my European friends. You guys seem to be the first ones here, by the way, my European friends. So certainly, um, so yeah. So thank you, sleep well. Yeah, and yeah, there's darn quarterbacks. She's saying there's darn QBs. As, I don't know, we're not talking about football here, but you know, that's okay. I'll pretend I know what she's talking about. Actually, I do. She means Queen's Beast. I'm just having a little fun with uh, Ania here. Um, silver bullion showcase just bought a 10 ounce maple came in the mail today love that size you know I want one of those I saw that in silver speeds video and I really really like it and that's on my list I really want that coin it's a nice size it's thick just thick enough to be cool you know so I'm with you silver supplement is here um and I'm thankful for that. Silver Supplement is the man. Check out his channel if you get a chance. Mufi is here. If you want to see a guy that can flip stuff, I mean literally flip, and I'm not talking about coins or real estate, he is the man to do that. And he also is the man who knows how to find some abandoned property and check it out. It's kind of spooky some of the places he's gone. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Mortgage coin with first 15 years interest coin, Chuck says. I'm not sure I get exactly what that is, unless he's responding to somebody else. Um, a 10-ounce 2017 Cook is on Anthony's list. Um, okay, tricky guy. He just checked, and the, and the silver ratio is 71, so it's gone down a little bit, 70 to 1. 
So it's gone down a little bit. It was like higher than that. Yeah. Dead mall videos are awesome. Yeah, I've seen some pictures of those, a halfie, but I've not actually seen any videos of it. And Donald, Donald makes mention that the 10 ounce maple is not too high of a premium. Yeah, it isn't. It's, it's a re very reasonable uh, for sure. <clears throat> Any of us get the privy lunar roosters? I got my two last night, and and uh, that's half he's saying that, and he posted a video on it. Very good. 476. Good Tips is asking, where's Alan Gold? I don't know. The world awaits. We want. We need the 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 member of the trolling community here, the the headmaster of the trolling community. Where is he? This chat is just. This live feed is not complete without um, uh, without. Um, What's his name? Alan Gold. Hey, Haffy, are you? Let me ask Haffy a question here. If he's, let me make sure. Okay, he's here. Okay, he's hard at work when not trolling. Haffy, do you want to? You want to come in here, Haffy? And if so, uh, let me see here. Let me make, let me get an affirmative or not from Haffy. He may not be able to. And if not, it's okay. I don't mean to put you on the spot. Hello, hello. Uh, Thibaud Van Leet. Very cool name. That's cool. I'm doing all right. Okay, Haffy, send me an email uh, to salivatemetal at gmail.com. I will reply with a link for you to join in. <clears throat> let me see if you're cool with that. All right, let me see. <clears throat> see here. Olive Cracker. I want some Zeppelin-themed uh, generic boing. Think it will ever happen. You know, Olive Cracker, <clears throat> good point. Um, here's the deal. Uh, let me open up my email, prepare prayer for Haffy. <clears throat> they started a series, Elemental Mint, and um, what else, what else, what else? Um, that didn't do very well. They started out with Buddy Holly, musical icons. But I think they should do some hard rock and classic rock inspired silver. That would be so cool. I'd love to have that. Actually, you know me, I'd like to have some metal, some Metallica, Slayer, Pantera themed generic silver rounds. But a Stairway to Heaven round would be epic too. Stephen Wells says Le Pen will win. Uh, well, apparently he's 24 points ahead. So I don't know. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Happy, happy will be joining us here in a matter of seconds from the DFW area. <clears throat> and for those who, who don't know what DFW means, it stands for Dang Fruit Walnuts. That's what DFW means. Dang Fruit, Dang Fruity Walnuts. <clears throat> so now when Haffy joins here, yes, we need an anthrax round, Colonic Stacker, that's for sure. When Haffy gets here, my viewership should pop up double. It should double because people want to hear Haffy. You know what I'm saying? Kiss Army Silver. Hey, Ben Lynch, that's right. They did. Kiss has a lot of silver rounds. Well, I know they have one for each member of Kiss. Tool Silver would be cool too, yeah. Donald Trump bullion, which one would be a good one? The the the, the Donald Trump bullion that you need is the uh, the one from um, MCM that Elemental did. Hey, we got a troll in the house. <laughs> troll, <laughs> what's up? Hello, Salivate Metal. Hello, troll. This troll fiveness. I don't. I only see the first name there, but oh, I, that that one came through. I'm sorry, I meant my half dollar. Oh, that's all right. No, that's cool. Hey, uh, we want to see, I, I baited you in here because everyone wants to see the man purse. We've got to see that man purse. The man purse is semi-retired on the... Oh, there it is. All right. On the side there. Nice. There's, there's the man purse. Sweet. Home Pennsylvania. I love it. That's... Here's the, the front of it. There's the front of it. Nice. This is the closest, deepest look we've had at the man, Happy's man purse. Ooh, what's in it? Ooh. Nothing. 
nothing. <laughs> That's the state of the, the state of the day. I was just telling people that you were from the DFW area and people want to know what DFW means, even though no one asked me. I told them it stands for um, um, uh, do little fruity walnuts. It is a little walnuts here, Salve. But yes, exactly right. I mean, I'm, I'm not a native. I'm a long-term guest. That's cool. That's all right. As long as you, um, as long as you have your papers and you're legal, you're good to go. Oh yeah, I, I've been uh, uh, vetted and approved by Native Texans. I'm good. Nice, nice, very good. Hey, you, you, you want to see something? Salivate. My video's oh. up, but I'll give you a, 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 an exclusive here. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's get the exclusive. We need to get our viewership up here. Whoa! Look at that. Trade dollar, 1877. That is a beaut. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. Yeah, I've been wanting one of these, and I mean, they're expensive. You know that. If you oh, know. yes. Yes, they are. And, and this, wasn't, this wasn't cheap. I mean, no. I, I probably got it for the best price I could, but it's still cheaper than I would have paid on eBay. Right. Did you get heritage auctions or something? Or Yeah, heritage. Nice. Wow, that is a stunner. Look at the detail in that eagle. Amazing. Yeah, did you ever read the – did you ever go over the history of these, Salivate? No, no. And you know, I don't collect them. I mean, they're, they're nice. I just don't have any in my collection. And to be honest with you, I, I don't think I've ever seen one that nice before, to be honest with you. I mean, it's been, you know, bag marked up, but it's still, if you look under the uh, magnifying glass, it's, it's you know, it, it, it looks, it still looks really nice. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, I mean, I, I, I read, you know, this is uh, uh, the, the paraphrase in here, but these were made for a total of six years. Right. Many of them went over to China, actually. Ah, yes. And they, and they get the, uh, those get the, uh, the, the marks, the stamps on them, right? Right. The chop marks. Chop marks. That's it. And well, yeah. So I, I, I don't, I, I'm not good with my presidential timetables, but it was whoever was in, uh, the president in 1878, I believe, or 77. Which would be, um, uh, not Tilden. He lost the election. Harrison, Benjamin Harrison, I think. Okay. So anyway, Congress was about to approve the Morgan Dollars. I forget the act name. Sorry. But everything at abstract level here. Right. But anyway, they, uh, they uh, what I'm trying to say here, the Congress passed it. The president tried to veto it, but the Congress overruled it. Wow. Because it was actually, I was reading, and it was controversial because it was basically a silver dump because silver was losing value. Right. Salivate. I'm not helping your viewership here. Uh, let's see here. Just a second. I'm, I'm going to look. I'm going to make sure I was right. And because uh, it, it might have been Grover Cleveland at the it's Rutherford B. Hayes. It was Rutherford B. Hayes. There was a silver movement back then. In fact, um, William Jennings Bryan. <clears throat> that was a little later when he talked about it. He was a silver guy, populist. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, very interesting. Hey, I, Anthony G has had to leave us here, and um, so I'm sorry I'm missing some of the comments. I'm just looking at this dollar. Amazing. I'll grab a couple more things if you give me a minute. Can you keep the audience here, Salve? Sure, I'll, I'll I'll twiddle my thumbs in front of them. That'll keep them around. Okay, back in a minute. Hold on, let me let me let you all see me twiddle my thumbs. This is inter quality entertainment right here. See that? Twiddle, twiddle, diddle. You know what I'm saying, homies? That's right. <clears throat> Actually, believe it or not, I gotta go in about a, ten minutes too. Anyways, but uh, we're still here. We'll 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 hang out here. We'll see if we want to find out if, if if any of those trade dollars went to um um <laughs> if any of them went to North Korea. The Daily Rand says it right. The viewership dropping faster than silver. That's for sure. Eugene B Ballard asks, "Is this really live?" No, this is a recording. <clears throat> and uh, what you are hearing is not in real time. What you what you heard thirty seconds ago wasn't real time, but not right now. This is this is a recording. 
Uh, Mufi's trying to land the maple leaf. Very cool. Those are nice coins. I think you'll like it. Memorex made great tapes, Chuck. History buffs are still here. Love history. Yeah, modern Cicero, me too. History is awesome. Very cool. Yes, and there was something in the late 1800s about silver, um, using it as money. You're like, this is Memorex. Oh, yeah, that's right, Donald. That was the old ad. The old ad. Hello, Sullivan. Hello. All right. Halfie's got something to show us. Nice. All right. Back to me. All right. He's got an ATB, the P version, Vapor Blast. Nice. This is probably the best one in a long while in my opinion yeah yeah it is the the horse's head is kind of weird it's like it's down you know what i mean it's like almost like it's angled downward but other than that it looks pretty cool i like it i don't know if it's the arch on the horse's neck or whatever mm -hmm. but it almost looks like he's like getting ready to 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 uh fall in that river there whole theater like an old like cowboy uh kind of effigy kind of yeah uh, of yeah horse. yep Yep, that's a beautiful coin. There are lots of detail in that for sure. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I have the bullion as well, and there's details in here that stand out with the vapor blast that you just can't make out with the bullion. Right. Yep, that sure does. I I love the uh, the 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 P versions of those. I think they did a great job with that vapor blast finish for sure. Right. I mean, I think the other one that was really nice in 2016 was the. Uh, Oh, Shannon, no, 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 where's that place in uh, Illinois? Uh, oh, man, I forget. <laughs> Hold on, I can tell you. Hold on. Um, Shawnee. Yes. That's a beautiful cool. one, and I actually picked up, uh, I think, three or four of them, but I, uh, I traded Silver GT one of them. Here it is. Yeah. But the only problem with the Shawnee, they minted like 120,000 of them. Wow. So you're not going to get anything more than a you know, little bump on top of the bullion price. Right, right. Now, Teddy here, mm -hmm. uh, the, the bullion, I think there was like 45,000, which is kind of like in the middle of the road. Right. And the... You know, this one here, I think they minted like 17, 18,000 of them, and there's about 900 that are between 70 and 69. So, not a bad one. Yeah. Well, hey, I mean, I like, like I said, I per, it's just a personal, you know, preference this one. Well, you know, and actually, you know, it's, it's funny, you know, and it is a beautiful coin. Don't get me wrong. I like it. But I did hear some criticism that Donald in New Mexico had reminded me of, not just about that no cowboy holds to the saddle to the saddle horn excuse me but also there was some other things in the details i don't know with the straps or something like that that this, uh, some people say were wrong for that time period i don't know if you know anything about that but some people were saying that um there was some some stuff uh that was incorrect about it yeah i mean historical interpretation right did so let me ask you, Salivate, do you have Amazon Prime? No, I don't. I wish I did. Okay, so, so many years ago, they did a, uh, uh, HBO did a uh, miniseries on John Adams with Paul Giamatti. Oh, yes, I saw that. That was a great series. And you remember the scene near the end where he's like, this is all wrong. Yes, yes. This is one so, of those uh, moments. Okay, I see what you mean. Right, right. Yep. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, they romanticized uh, the good times. Right? right, that's right, exactly. And so this is an example of that. That's right. And that makes perfect sense. That's right. Yep. I do remember that scene. Very good point. And it's a beautiful <laughs> coin. Is, is, is that your favorite of 2016, your favorite of all time? Uh, not of all time. My favorite of all time, of course, is my classic commemorative uh, Cincinnati Music Hall. I got the PDS set. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what, what I mean, when I meant was, is it your favorite of the ATB series? Oh, yes. I, honestly, I bought the uh, Mount Rushmore back in 2013. Okay. And I didn't really like the Mount Rushmore bullion. I didn't either. I'm probably like one of two people that have it besides Raw Dog, because I think he cornered the Mount Rushmore ATB market. Hey, I have to interrupt you for one second, Happy, because... 
when when Andy mentions Scandinavian black metal, I've just got to give the horns. That's awesome. Ah, Scandinavian black metal. That's some good stuff. A little satanic for my uh, taste, but <clears throat> but the music's good. Anyways, carry on, my wayward son. You ever watch uh, uh, Metalocalypse? No, but people have been telling me about it, and I need to see it. I just haven't had, taken the time to do that. But it yeah, is, it's awesome. Celebrate! It's wow, fun. cool. I you think... like metal? You'll like it. Nice, cool. Okay, next, next up. So I got this a while ago, but I thought I'd pull this out because of the next item. This is the yeah. ten ounce uh, Lunar Rooster. Nice. And I think these were at one. 80 i think when i got her well it wasn't that much right that's a good deal wow they're kind of up to about you know a couple hundred i think they were up to like 220 wow but uh that's so anyways yeah so beautiful I, I wanted to show this one. Oh yeah how about uh poor queenie's uh uh prince there yep he's retiring 95 years old yeah it sounds like a short retirement from uh, yeah exactly Death rows, but anyway. Yeah, so this is what I got last night. Yeah, I remember that video. 476 bucks. Yeah, and it was weird because I I mean it was bullion exchanges, 476. And I'm like, wait a minute, I know these privies normally go from <laughs> more than that. Right. So I, mean, I did some Google searches, and the only other place that came up was uh, the, the Gainesville. Yeah. And it was just the base price was kind of sort of there, but that was cash. And, of course, you know, they play that game with the shipping. Right, right. So I pulled the trigger on this credit card for 76 and if you go to eBay now, try to find the two of these. I mean, they're going for like 545 Right. So, eh. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I have some Perth. I'm not a big Perth. I'm, you know, eclectic with what I have. And it was just an impulse buy. You are not you like we'd like to get. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Nah, not, no, no, no problem. So what in my collection, Salivate, tell me, what would you like to see? I would like to see a, a 1978 Lincoln Cent. Pull it out. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I do have a coin uh, <laughs> separator over there. There might be one in there. I'm just teasing you. Actually, you know what? I hate to break up the party, but actually, I got a Splitsville. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey. But- do what you got to do. Solid. But you know what I'm saying? The night is young, got a party hardy, you know, that kind of thing. You know, I'm the social light in my area. I'm hosting a North Korean dictator party. Some people call it a prictator party. Um, and, uh, um, and I just got to get all the North Korean uh, uh, leadership in one room. And I'm the host. Oh, I, th- I thought you were going off uh, Boogie Nights, uh, Numa's Metal style. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that was a classic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't know. Thank you, you, Donald. Like, hey, you we, like? I, I want to get, I want to get a three-hour video of a uh, of numismatic uh, king snoring. Oh, that's out there. You know that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna loop that. Yeah, I'll say hi to, to Kim Jong-un for you there, Belange P. We got to get him in here and uh, all that good stuff. But, hey, thank you all and, uh, and Haffy. Uh, thank you so much for coming on board, my friend, for being a good sport and for showing us your – this is some – man, that trade dollar is the bomb diggity. And that's you NASCAR. Like that's NASCAR like talk for being in school. like this little doohickey? I like that. I like that doohickey. I'd give it a hickey. That's how much I like it. I'd give that thing a hickey. Oh, this thing looks like it got some hickeys. Yeah, yeah, or bag marks at least. Jonathan Askins, no, I'm not from Pa. I do have a Ma and a Pa, but I'm not from Pa. I guess in some way I am from Pa. He means Pennsylvania. No, I'm not from Pennsylvania. All right, Ania, thank you. Um, she's going to watch the Kentucky Derby tomorrow. Guys, half the horses running were born in, in my county. Nice. Kelly Poggy says, bye, salivate. 
Someone else is from Cancun, Mexico. Very cool. Nice. Monica Maria Uc Rojas. Nice. Very cool. All right, everyone. Thank you again. And we'll do this again, I promise. And half dollar, thank you very much, sir. You are the man. You are an officer and a gentleman, or a gentleman and a scholar. Thank you, Mr. Meadow. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye bye, everyone. Take it squeezy. Don't be sleazy. And all that, and don't sneezy too. You know what I'm saying? Don't sneezy either. All right. We're gonna. I'm gonna see how many viewers uh, drop off when I say goodbye. Let's see how many of you all leave. Everybody's leaving. So how many people are still here? Oh, there goes two. Now we're gonna watch them all just go down. Everybody, everybody thinks I'm gone. Everybody thinks I've left. Thank you, Silver Gold Bug. Goodbye, Mufi. Ania, take care. Thanks for the heart and the wave. I'll kiss the cat for you. 39 are left. I'm going to watch it go down to zero. You guys are just dropping like flies off this live stream because you all think I'm leaving because I said goodbye. DW is still here. Whoa. DW is, is, is hanging out with me here. Mufi's still here. We got some hardcore people here now. One way to get rid of people from watching your live stream is to tell them you're leaving. Not till the kitty leaves the building, Silver Mana says. Even Half Dollar left. I fooled Half Dollar and told him I was leaving, and he hung up. Can you believe that? And he's not going to come back on here and say, oh, you're still on, Salivate. What's going on? You said you were leaving, but you're still here. What's going on? Well, you missed out. Hey, Savvy Metals is still here, too. Bye, Sal. Hep Kitty, Donald in New Mexico. There's, it's 131 in Poland right now. A Quebec stacking seven medals. There's new people coming in now. Three, J3 be digging Canada nice. Hey, man. hello, I just get ready to leave. J3, but thank you. United Airline personnel will have to drag me out. That's right, exactly. All right, we're still leaving. So this is going to be a long, slow goodbye. That's what's going to happen here. Long, slow goodbye. But since you guys are sticking around, I'm going to give you a sneak peek. Let's see if I can do this right here. Hold on. If I can get this to work, you are going to see something's a treat for sticking around. You 35 that are left here. I'm tangled up here. Bear, bear with me. You're going to get a sneak peek at something. Salty and cuffy kitty. Yeah. That's a live kitty. All right. There you saw it. There you have it. Okay, people. Now we're getting ready to, to wind it down here. I am... Yes, Sal with a burka. That's right. Thank you, Jonathan. Yep. Very good. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another social experiment with you people. Let's see how hardcore you are. We only, we only lost one video. This is a long goodbye. <clears throat> Let's see here. It's a very long goodbye. No, I haven't. Uh, J3, be digging Canada. I will, I will have to check it out. Um, so, yeah, send... Uh, comment on one of my videos with it or something like that. Let me know about it and I'll, I'll do that. Uh, where did I put that gold coin? Because I'm going to put the gold coin away. And I can, you all can just watch me pack up. Because I'm saying a long goodbye here. The longest goodbye of 24 hours. That's right. And there's 34 people still here. And for those who had just joined us, we're in the process of saying goodbye. Uh, it's been a long live stream. We had some good calls. We also, you know, did some things like this. We've got, you know, we. No, I reckon I'll have me some of the beggars. They say they're setting me free today. The story you and Mama told me they ain't in there. Oh man, DW's he's bailing on us, man. Tell the wife to tell the wife to, 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 to stick around. Tell the wife to come here. Bring the wife by the computer. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, Who are you? Which one of you pricks is the leader? 
I got an idea. Do not make me have to ask. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's what I want your wife to hear. To stick around. You like music? Yeah, all right. Hey, by 39 DD is is hardcore staying here until it's actually over. I've picked up viewers. This is for those just joining us. This is the longest goodbye. Oh, yeah, somebody gave me a thumbs down, Donald. Who y'all are going to thumbs down me till I'm out of here? That's right. That's exactly right. All right. <clears throat> all right, listen up. Um, listen, I like you. Do not shatter my image of you. You're a badass. You're not scared of shit. Don't be scared of me. It's a disappointment. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. Very good. Okay, well, I think I am um, about to really say goodbye because I really, you know, when I said goodbye the first time, I really did have to go. I mean, this is, this is, I wasn't really fooling you people. It's just one of those things where it's just hard to leave you guys because you're so cool and that kind of thing you know what i mean so as donald in new mexico says it ain't over till it's over and uh so yeah so goodbye so p brain is about to bail on us here um <clears throat> uh hello q tip 21 he asked me if i'm a twd fan you mean um um uh to hell with the devil fan yeah you don't mess with the New World Order. New World Order is this, and it's really very simple. So even if you're stupid, which you very may well be, you can understand it. That's your answer. That's right. All right, very good. All right, guys. <clears throat> it's an addictive chat, as as is once said. But I really do. I, I mean, I honestly do got to get out of here. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not kidding you. I'm really not kidding any of you guys. Um. And I'm still here. Why I'm still here, I don't know, because I should be, you know, putting all this stuff away. I should be putting the, the other things away. I'm gonna I'm gonna move this speaker so we don't hear Negan anymore. We're gonna I'm gonna, you know, there's a lot of things that's gonna be happening here when I shut I'm gonna put this back in this little baggie. Thanks again to Baggins for that. Hey bag baggy and baggins. Hey J3 is B digging Canada. Have a good night. Thank you. So we're losing viewers here. Because people are sensing that since I moved this stuff out of the way, that well, that I'm actually am shutting down this live feed because it's going to happen. It's it's definitely going to happen. Yes, stalk me in the shadows, Savvy Metal says. Very good. All right, guys. So the the moment has arrived. Yes, I'm going to go party like it's 1939 for sure. Uh, thank you, Universal Vibes TV, for the entertainment. Enjoy hosting. Yes. We've got to host a North Korean prictator party. And uh, so, yeah, so there it is. Um, and, uh, yeah, so J3 is still here till I click in. And, yeah, cl uh, comment my last video uh, with the detail, you know, stuff so I know it reminds me to go to your giveaway and stuff and all that stuff. Hey, Laney is here at the very last second. Um, hello. <laughs> Hi and bye. Yes, it's the longest goodbye in live feed history for sure and uh so yeah i wish i could stick around but i really can't i gotta i gotta get going here it's a ner nervous night you know take care movie nuke party yep you all take it squeezy and remember easy peasy lemon squeezy don't any of you do that again did you see what just happened what i just did you just yeah, that's exactly right. All right. So, all right. I'm out of here, you all. Take a squeeze, you all. Have a good one. Yeah, watch your replay, Laney. We had some fun. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. As as as, uh, as 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 the old once was, um, let me think here. As Lulu Snowflake once, I'm going to give a Lulu Snowflake goodbye. Bye. I think that's how she did it. It's either that or RB50, one of those two. Anyways, bye, you all. I'm really good. I'm hanging up now. No, you hang up first. No, you hang up. P Brain's giving me the eyeball now. All right. See you all. Last comment. Yep.